Hey folks, in this Prima Guides video, we'll be showing you where to find the gnomes and statues in Little Nightmares. The gnomes in Little Nightmares are tiny creatures that generally run at first sight, but will eventually let you get close to them. Gnomes are one of the two collectible items in the game. To collect a gnome, you must grab it, which results in a hug. If you hug a gnome in Little Nightmares, it's considered to be collected. It's important to know that you won't find the gnomes in some of these locations if you don't scare them first. For example, the first gnome in the prison area only appears in the secret room if you open the refrigerator first so the gnome can run into that room. In the room with the refrigerator in the middle, look to the far right and find a small opening in the foreground. There's a gnome in the room to the right of the opening. After you reach the first room with the spotlight eye, climb up the mountain of cages to the right of the spotlight, but stop before you reach the floor above. There's a gnome in a cage to the far right. You can reach the cage by walking along the top row of cages, then jumping to the right, or taking a running jump to the right and grabbing the ledge. Crawl through the cage and into the next room, then grab the gnome. After you climb the filing cabinet to turn off the power a second time, move to the far left side of the room and light the lantern. Then look in the background and pull open the crate to free the gnome. It runs back into the room to the right and hides in the left corner of the room. Go back to the previous room and hug that gnome. There's a long flight of stairs near the beginning of the area. The first flight climbs to the right, then the second long flight of stairs climbs to the left. Before you climb the final flight of stairs to the right, look to the far left to find a gnome. Once you pick up the lever on the floor and insert it into the pillar to open up the hatch on the floor, drop down into the hatch. In the next room to the right, you can climb the crate to the right, but instead climb up the ladder in the background on the right. Move the boxes at the top to reveal a small passage, then drop down into the next room to find a gnome. After the hallway of clocks, you'll enter a room with numerous stacks of books. Crawl under the desk on the far right side and a gnome will run away. Now head to the far left to find the gnome standing to the left of a stack of books in the middle of the floor near the left wall. You may have to move a few books to see the gnome clearly. After picking up the key, go back into the bathroom on the far right to find a gnome to the left of the double toilets. After picking up the key and heading into the elevator, instead of continuing to the right to unlock the door, go left into the pantry to find a brown jar on the floor. Pick up and break the brown jar to find a gnome. When you reach the room with the sausage maker and the lift that leads up to the freezer area, look under the table that the sausage maker is sitting on to find a gnome hiding there. At the very start of the area, go left instead of right to find a secret room with a gnome. In the room where you have to run across the top of the bar dodging guests left and right, before you make that run, look to the far right side of the room to find a stool pushed up against the wall. Move the stool to the left to reveal a hole behind it. Crawl through the hole to find a gnome. After shattering the mirror in the bathroom and walking along the elevated pipe back to the elevator, take the elevator to the next floor, but head left instead of right. In the first guest quarter, there's a gnome about to wake up a sleeping guest. Now you can't miss this final gnome even if you tried. When you start to get hunger pains, keep walking to the right until a gnome offers you a sausage. Unfortunately, you opt for a different kind of food, which counts as hugging the gnome. And now let's try and find the statues. The statues are usually located off the beaten path, so if you don't explore, you'll likely miss quite a few. We've broken down the location of each statue in Little Nightmares by area you'll find them in. Head up the long flight of stairs near the beginning of the game. Shortly after the stairs, there's an alcove in the background. A statue rests in the alcove. After the first area with the spotlight eye, climb up near the left side of the wall of crates. When you reach the top before you continue to the right, head to the left and through the background to find a small room with a statue. When you reach the bedroom with the suitcase in the middle of the floor, move the suitcase to the far right so you can reach the switch on the wall. Pull the switch to lower the bed in the background, then use the bed to climb up the drawers to the top, and then jump over to the shelf just above you to see the statue sitting on the shelf. After the long-armed enemy chases you into the elevator and you hide in the box, there's a toy box in the middle of the next room. To the right of the toy box is a loose plank on the floor near the toy monkey. Push the toy box away from the loose plank, then stand on the right side of the plank to drop down into the crawl space beneath the floorboards. Continue to the right, moving past the makeshift ladder that leads back to the floor above. When you can move into the background, which is a little blurry at first, look to the far left corner to find a statue you can break. After you quell your hunger by eating the rat stuck in the trap, and climb onto the laundry in the middle of the room in the background to push the metal top leaning against the bin, move down to the floor on the right. But before you continue onward, look in the hidden space behind the ramp that leads to the floor, and between the laundry bins. You'll drop down into a secret passage that leads into a room to the right. In this room, you'll find a statue on the table that you can break. 
When you reach the room with the machine that makes sausages, climb into the food lift in the background to move up the freezer. Head through the small opening on the wall to the right and into the next small room. There's a lantern you can light and a statue you can break on the far right side of the room in the foreground. After grabbing the key from the chef's table, head back to the lift. As soon as the lift stops, quickly unlock the door to the right and hide in the toppled over cart in the background. Once the chef heads into the room on the right, climb on top of your hiding place and jump to the left to open the door to the chute. Move to the left side of the room and look into the foreground to find another statue you can break. After shattering the mirror in the bathroom, climb up the room in the background and use the elevated pipe to travel all the way to the far right side of the adjacent room. Drop down on the table to find a statue waiting for you. At the end of the level, when you see the lady geisha walk into the elevator as you climb into the top of the ladder, wait for the geisha to move into the elevator before you open the hatch at the top. Once she's clear, head to the left to find another statue you can break. The only statue in this area is up the stairs in the ladies room. Sneak past the lady as you head into the room on the left. Then break the blue and white vase on the left of the bed. This causes the lady to leave the room to the right, allowing you to use the chair to reach your vanity mirror where the statue rests. And that's it for all the collectibles and little nightmares. And that's the end of our video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check our description for more little nightmares content. Check back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to Prima Games dot com.